Hi, Bill McRae here. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit more about lead generation, why that is important. This goes back a long time for me. I'm not the youngest guy in the neighborhood. Uh, back in the late 70s, early 80s, I remember going to the library with my trusted employee sidekick, Karen, and we would scour the yellow pages in every small city town on the west part of the United States. And we were looking for greenhouses and nursery uh, that had uh, addresses. And we would write them all down and we'd add them to our database. And that became our mailing database that we would print out labels and mail our newsletters and catalogs to. That is essentially lead generation back during the late 70s and early 80s. We could buy a list from a few places. We would uh, take them. And I had a gal working for us at the time would sit down and they literally typed out the mailing addresses. Um, 1980, we actually installed an IBM PC and we had a label printer and we were finally able to put all that data into our computer and we developed a list of about 40,000 names. It was very challenging, but we built a $100 million business as we grew to a couple hundred thousand people on our mailing list. It was a very, very effective way for us and call it what you, uh, you want, you know, email marketing is no different than doing direct mail, which is what we did from about 1978 until 1995 in the company that I took public in 1995. It was all done via direct, direct marketing in our library of training because we wanted to train ourselves and train our employees consisted of tapes from Zig Ziglar and Dan Kennedy and all these direct marketing people. That principle still works today. And it's called lead generation. Now, you can't go to the library and pull up a yellow pages from Missoula, Montana and pull out the nurseries and greenhouses like I did back, oh heck, almost 40 years ago now. You can't do that. I guess you could. I don't know if they even have yellow pages. But there are companies that do nothing but specialize in lead generation. Okay, lead generation is the heart and soul of every single business there is. I've been in the, uh, uh, the, the insurance industry, and guess what? Leads are it. Um, in the health and fitness industry, leads are it. Business opportunity, leads are it. Leads are everything. Now, how do people online generate leads? Well, one way they do is they go out and they spend a ton of money on uh, pay-per-click advertising with Google AdWords, or Facebook ads and stuff like that. And, and you will generate leads. Your cost per lead or what you pay for each lead is gonna be several dollars. Um, so you gotta have a very, very profitable product line to make it pay. Now, someone like a chiropractor or a dentist is gonna make thousands of dollars off of every conversion. So they can pay 10, 15, 20, even $100 to generate a lead into their sales funnel, right? Very, very, very basic stuff here. The business opportunity you're looking at, you can't spend that much. I mean, the old uh, rule of thumb back in about 2008 was a dollar per lead, and I'll make $10 on that list member. And those numbers are really shot because that was back in the day where you had to be, you know, very good, and you generated all your leads based off of personality. It was guru marketing. The average person couldn't really build a very big list because they didn't sell solo ads and stuff like that. But as things changed, more people got into selling solo ads or traffic so that other people couldn't make money by selling to my list. That's what I do. It's my primary business. Uh, and I'm thrilled that other people can make money buying from my list. I can't make money buying from other people's lists, though. That much, I, just, I guarantee you. If I was to go out and buy solo ads from all the solo ad providers in order to build a list to sell you a solo ad, it isn't going to work because I'm going to end up paying about a dollar twenty-five a lead on average. You know, and I, I hear this all the time, well I get fifty percent conversions on every one of my sellers. No you don't. Don't lie to me. You might on few. Keep in mind if you buy a hundred clicks, the first fifty clicks are going to be very interested in what you have. The last fifty clicks are not. So people will always do a solo ad and they'll get 60, 70 percent opt-in rates and then that becomes the benchmark that they judge everybody on. It's just foolish. The problem I see now with most people is what they want to do is they want to buy a solo ad, send it to a business opportunity, and make money off of that. And they're really missing the big picture. The big picture is 
send it to a list and make money on that list member over and over and over and over. You think Frank Kern, you think John Reese, you think any of the big names in this industry ever bought a solo ad expecting to make money. Now, buy solo ads, make money. I love it. It's a great idea. But what you're really doing, if you do it right, is you're building an asset list that you can sell to over and over and over. So for me, I don't want to have leads in my list that are already on everyone else's solo list. So I do what's called media buys. And we started a media buying, uh, media buying group called Active Leads Pro which other marketers, the real guys, the guys that do this for a living, um, not just playing around, build lists. They buy the traffic with us, so we accumulate all our money and we, we have a person who manages our media buys. And you can get involved in that if you want, but the point is we build lists. We don't try to make money off of solo ads. We like making money selling solo ads, and we certainly want you to make money buying solo ads from us, but if you were smart, you would look at ways to build your list, the lowest cost per lead, and then segment your data. So as it comes into your autoresponder, you can find out what people are interested in, promote what they're interested in, give them what they want, and you can make money over and over and over on the same list, okay? I have people, when I send out an email, I have people that have been on my list for, I don't know, since uh, a 2000 and 10, 2012, that period, they'll email me back. They'll say, hey, Bill, should I buy this? And I'll always go, yes or no. And really, I don't sell anything with my email promotions now. I promote solo ads for people. And I just explain to them. I say, I say to my list members, I'm promoting uh, solo ads. I get paid per click. If you want to stay on my list, just follow on, see what I do, learn how to do it, and go do it yourself. Why do I do solo ads versus promoting products? Well, I do promote products. When I get my leads from Active Leads Pro, um, I'm buying a lot. I'm at the lowest possible cost you can pay as a founding member, but they come into my um, GetResponse account, and what I use GetResponse for is strictly to segment the list. There's some other videos on my YouTube channel where I show you how we determine who opens on what. But what I do in my master list is also we'll break it down by product interest. Somebody may be interested in copywriting, somebody may be interested in building blogs, somebody may be interested in building products, whatever. That's the master list. And then I promote them on that get response list, but I also export those leads since I own them. And I import them into my personal uh, ESP, email service provider system that I have, which is basically MailGet, tied to SMTP with my own private domain, that I've warmed up over the last couple of years, my own IP, and I mail my solo ads through that. Why do I do that? Because if I was to mail solo ads through GetResponse, I'd have to have a huge list, I'd be paying for a lot of people on there, and I'd get a lot of spam complaints. What I use GetResponse for is to filter my data and figure out what's what. And then as soon as I take someone that's gone through the autoresponder sequence, I'll remove them and add them into my um, solo ad list, and at that point, you know, I'm looking for you to click on ads. I make a lot of money with solo ads. I love the business. I really love it. I wouldn't have spent the last three years figuring out how to build my own email service provider if I didn't love it. So here I am. I can do up to 10,000 clicks a day as the solo ad provider. Sometimes it's easy to sell that much. Sometimes you end up with the 500 clicks. It's a difficult market because there's a lot of games played and it's, you know, I do a little bit with Udemy. I sell a little bit through traffic for me. I sell through a lot of sources, but I'm able to move an average of three to 5,000 clicks a day at an average of about 45 cents. So that's good money. Now I reinvest that income, a very large percentage of that goes right back into new leads to Tactical Leads Pro, which go through my get response account. I sell various products in there. I take that, separate the openers out, email them on mail get, and that's my whole system. It generates a lot of money. So what I'm doing now is no different than what I was doing, you know, in 1978 and 82, uh, going to the uh, library with my uh, my little friend and just going through and building up mailing lists I'm going to mail catalogs to. It was no different. It was shotgun marketing. I used to mail a catalog to a guy about buying agricultural products from us. Now I'm sending emails to guys who sign up for a list. It's lead generation, it's lead generation in any industry. 
So if you have a choice between building your assets and promoting a business opportunity where they say, hey, just buy a solo, send it to this landing page, and we'll market it for you, it sounds nice. You're not going to make much money when you're doing the work to make the list for your product owner. So the guy who owns that list of the product, he's the one that's got the list. I guarantee you, he's marketing that list and making more money selling your leads than he is selling the product that he's produced. I know, I've been there, I've done it for years. So think about building your list. Build a list for yourself. Learn how to segment them. Get your leads at the lowest possible cost source. I absolutely love Active Leads Pro because it works and it's cheap and I am good at segmenting. Get good at segmenting and you can bring in leads from any source and make money with them. Really, you can. So I hope this helps. Uh, Active Leads Pro is my source. The only place I get any of my leads anymore. Uh, I just, every 50% of every dollar in revenue I generate goes right back into leads. I got to pay my autoresponder accounts, which is my only other bill, and a few toys that I have here and there. But yeah, Active Leads Pro is the way to go.